Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. I'm the senior broker, the team lead of Team Rennick. This is all part of my promise to bring you the aspects of Sarasota Bredington and all the barrier islands from the viewpoint of the folks that live here, play here, and work here. As we all know, Florida is starting to reopen, which means Sarasota and Bradenton are starting to reopen. Restaurants have been open with 25% capacity inside and outdoor seating allowable if it's more than six feet apart. Starting um, this week, gyms will be able to open up, um, things like that. So we continue to expand, but it's essential that we work hard so that our clients, the people that are visiting these stores and these businesses are safe. So here's what the city council is, is investigating right now for downtown Sarasota. So they're looking at four options for downtown Main Street to make it easier, um, especially on the restaurant. So they're looking at potentially a total vehicle closure for Main Street that will allow the restaurants and the stores to put tables out on the sidewalks, tables out on the road. People will be able to mingle and stay six feet apart and stay safer. That's option number one. Option number two, under consideration by the city council, is still a, a, almost a total vehicle closure, but they'll have a center. Well, it is a total vehicle closure, but they'll allow a center pedestrian walkway. So there'll be a path down the middle of Main Street where people could uh, walk in, in kind of like a line area and the tables and, and, and displays will be on each side, including on the street and on the sidewalks. The third option they're looking at is a one-way street, for, so traffic can only move one way. Um, and the last one is to maintain two-way traffic, but to allow the sidewalks to be overtaken with tables and stuff like that. There is some concern, this sounds good on surface, but there is some concerns in terms of some of the owners are um, concerned about giving up parking spaces that they have where, where clients can park right in front of the stores. And all of this makes a lot of sense. So the key is, what can the city council do to help people succeed without taking away from other merchants? So just the fact that these four items are under consideration shows that the city's being proactive. They take the virus seriously. They take safety of visitors seriously. And they're trying to work through a solution that's a win-win for everyone. So that's the latest update with downtown Sarasota. We'll have more to follow as, as um, information becomes available. Again, this is Mike Rennick, my personal cell. Feel free to use it at your convenience. It's 941-400-8735. Thanks for watching.